Hello YouTube, Oberon Blade here and this is Minecraft with Feed the Beast Adam Peck. Welcome back. Uh, today I'm hunting uh, for um, <coughs> Enderman. I want me some Enderman. One is enough, but I want to get as many as I can basically. Uh, the reason being is that I'm going to do some Ender Chests. Um, and the reason I will want to build ender chests is because I want to have uh, <coughs> lava power. I don't need ender chests for that, I guess. But if I'm um, uh, want to set up a uh, system where the chest is filled in one end with uh, full lava capsules and then emptied at the other end and then the lava capsules return instead of doing a long well oops um, yeah, instead of doing a long line of tubes and such I just um, figure I do that um, I've been back in the nether and I've closed off my entrance there so that I can now uh, make a passage all the way down to lava uh, level below without being interrupted by monsters and whatever <coughs> and um, I've also been to the twilight forest where I've done something similar um, well, I have closed off some parts of the maze where I started in the twilight and um, ooh, silver work birch tree. Now what I've been doing is basically uh, dig out through the top of this uh, huge canopy. Mm. So um, I can get out. I did find some stuff there that is nice and all. There we go. Uh, but as I said, for now I'm just out trying to gather uh, some uh, Enderman. Go like that, okay. Don't need that. Like. There, yeah, that works. Um, I haven't really seen many of them. Um, tall redwood, uh, many of the endermen. I, I've heard a few while well, I've been playing around in my little um, hut or where I live, but. Don't really come across many out here. I don't know why. Would be nice to get a few of them at least. As I said, one would be enough. Spider, spider. Oh. Somebody, come get some. I can't even see you. Oh. There you are. Yeah, you got some. <laughs> I don't know the best place to look for Enderman. I know there is some way to make uh, monster spawns. But. Uh, however, they are not, unless you have actually one of those uh, spawner thingies, um, you, you don't know what to get from them. But you can set it up so it just gives you a bunch of, uh, basically you drown the whatever is in there. But, nah, such a 
a bit of a hassle to do that. So, and besides, the, with the armor I'm wearing, um, I feel somewhat safe. Unless I did uh, the stupidity things like I did when I fell into my quarry and got surrounded by monsters and then blown up by a uh, creeper. But other than that, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling quite, quite safe and secure. Ooh, Enderman. Come here, you little creep. I'm looking at you. Don't run away from me. Yeah, I see you. You see me. Place my keyboard, so sometimes I just get stuck, which isn't all that fun. But not much to do about it. Let's see where are we going? Not down there. We've been down there. Our home is on the other side of the hill. Oh, you can see my <coughs> the passage up there leading up to the quarry location number two. Was that an enderman? Is there an enderman there? No. Come on, little zombie. I can take you out. the best of excursions but you know, it was okay I guess so um, I sort of completed my um, home here as we can go and take a look it's not furnished I'm far from it um, well what I did was I replaced my walls from this normal marble to marble tiles like this and um, yeah I put in this uh, sicorium whatever it's called here to lighten up the place a bit like so dum -dum -dum. and this is my uh, lava tanks it's, it's, it was kind of boring going get lava like that but I did it I had like those uh, yeah look nice isn't it uh, these are just temporary um, Ooh, I can look. I can see outside. Um, I have those portable tanks in a bucket and I went to a lava pool and I filled up four of those tanks but to be able to make the tanks I first had to build this item here, induction smelter, uh, to harden glass and to get the hardened glass I had to melt, let's see, um, was it this stuff here, obsidian and uh, first ore and I don't have too many of that I have 28 ingots which is okay yeah. we might have a bunch more but I don't so yeah um, I made four of those um, portable tanks so that I could uh, gather lava but lava doesn't behave the same way as water which means that you are basically you know if I were to dig with a bucket over here to get this lava it will deplete which is a kind of a bummer but not much to do about that um, there is ways to make it a uh, permanent or like an infinite lava pool uh, I have yet to... Ooh, another one. Hey, Enderman. Yes. Are you playing with your blocks? You know it's not Lego, right? Come here. Not you. Where did Enderman go? Enderman. 
Thank you. Await your turn, little skeleton. <laughs> Who are you on fire? <laughs> okay, another enderman, still no ender pearl. They're kind of cheap, aren't they? The enderman. Or are they just being careful, not leaving home with the pearls? Um, so yeah, I've been collecting a bit of lava, but uh, and I was looking online on how to make like an infinite lava pool, and it's, it seems to require quite a lot of work, uh, machinery as well. Uh, let's remove this. There we go. No need to jump to the heavens all the time. Spider. No? Wanna play? <laughs> there we go. Um, so... You need to do some machinery, uh, a bunch of different machines. But I think it's like in a thermal <coughs> expansion pack or a thermal expansion. Ooh, I like that. Um, also, I'm not done with my uh, dwelling, but um, I, I think I figured I've done enough. Now I can start moving furniture in. Um, sounds like a good idea, I think. Ooh. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe installing a... Um, ooh, an ender pro. Yay, actually you did drop an end of Great. Um, I'm thinking about installing maybe a uh, trap door on the roof so I can get in that way. Also over here, um, where I have my door, which is about here, I'm thinking about making some glass cage around here that I can walk through into my... Um, dwelling from this side but again I haven't done that okay so let's see what is needed to make a ender chest first we drop off the stuff that we have no point use of whoops arrows don't go there we grab the second ender pearl um, yeah we can the string can go here no, 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 no. why do I have grass hmm. right. Yes, there we go. We go like this. Um, well, this is sort of a drop. Shimmer leaf, that's new. Let's put you here. Uh, like so, and you can go there as well. Silver wood log. Don't really have enough to make anything zombie brain. Uh, put you there. Coal and coal, awesome, that's a fuel. Yeah, I, you know, I don't have enough to make uh, this one out of uh, Sicorium or whatever it's called. It's the gems. Well, I could, yes, I could use red, but I don't know if red is the color to use. It. No, it's not. I think it's blue. That I. That's why I leave this open, because I need blue. I have blue there, red there, green, white. So, red, yeah, blue. I say blue. Okay, we have a little bit of space. There we go. Okay. So, I was looking at this solar thingy as well to make a high voltage solar array because that one gives 512 EU per tick, which is uh, lots and lots of um, energy. But to make that one, I need to make eight of these mediums voltage solar rays and I need a high uh, HV transformer and to make the HV transformer I need a energy crystal some four insulation HV cable circuit and an MV transformer uh, to make that I need that which isn't too difficult but to make the medium 
voltage solar arrays. I need one of the MV transformers as well as eight low voltage solar arrays. And to make the low voltage solar arrays, I need eight solar panels and a low voltage transformer or LV transformer. To make them is easy, but it's like take eight and then there, eight times eight is 64, and then to get those, those eight, and then, you know, I put those eight here. So I need like 64 of these. Uh, plus eight of them, one, one. I guess I could make it, but nah, not now. Anyway, what was it? There was Ender Chest, right? Ender. There you go, Ender Chest. So you need two obsidian, normal chest, some wool, lace rods. Um, so let's get some wool. We have wool here. Uh, two. Now blaze rods. I have blaze powder, which I found um, in um, the desert. There are four blaze rods. There are four made earlier. But I need eight, right? To make one chest, I need four. I need wood, and I need. So let's make this is the last of that. Uh, I keep forgetting how to make stuff. Aluminium stone, yes. The aluminium stone is not there. It's here, right? It's a tool. No? It's a tool, so it's here, yes. We take that one, and like so. One, two, three, four. Put that there. Put that one back. There we go. Uh, some obsidian, here we go. Is that all? No, oh, it's plenty. Now I need a wood as well. Uh, this wood, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus eight. There we go. So we make the chests. Put them in the middle, put them here. Oops. And the blaze rods, one, two, three, four. And the pearl. And the wool, right? Okay, that's an ender chest. There we go. One, two, and four blaze rods. Ender chest. Ta da! Now, the fun thing about these is that they're awesome. Um, let's just place one. Like, let's say that this is going to be my um, thing. So I place a chest there, and I open it, and I put my uh, canvas bag inside. Oh, what the canvas bag, by the way? It's a neat little item. It can store a bunch of stuff, pretty much like uh, a normal chest for this inventory. And there is no limitation on what type of items you can put in there. So it's good for extra stuff. So we put the bag in there, like so. Actually, I'm, I'm a little bit worried it might not work. So let's put in 14 torches. Da -da -da -da. And then we take the other end of the chest. And we go to the nether, where we drop this off. Here we go. <laughs> wobbly, 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 wobbly. So, yeah, I sort of built this to defend myself or protect myself from any unwanted advances from the guy that goes outside and a few other stuff. So, here I have access to the lava anyway. As you can see, there is a bit of a flow going on here because I've been grabbing it. So we put this chest in the, uh, here. Ta-da! The 14 torches are there. So I take them out. Now, 
what I need now is I need a uh, chunk loader to make sure this one is loaded all the time. And also a neat trick is that you can actually carry an ender chest with you, drop it down like this, load or unload stuff in it, and then pick it back up. It's kind of an expensive though in case you die. Um, but that one should be there. So now we make our back, way back home and we build a chunk loader. I think I can build one more. I don't really remember how to build them. We don't go out there. Oh, back home, safe and sound. Uh, I think I need another ender pearl actually to make a chunk loader. Let's check. I don't understand how you managed to get in here. You know, we have a dress code. Well, at least we have a code that says only humans are allowed. And you are far from human. The Enderman was here, dropped off a block, and did a zombie spawn on the block. Hmm, is that the purpose of the Enderman? To create spawn locations? I don't know. Um, so, what we're looking at? We were looking at the end chunk loader. Yeah, take one Ender Pearl, enchantment table. So, we have to go out and chase down at least one more Enderman. No, we don't have that on. Put that on. Another thing that I need to do is that I had uh, built this magma crucible. No idea how to operate that. Uh, I read that it's needed uh, to make this infinite uh, lava flow thingy. So I figured that, uh, okay, I'll build one. I can build one. That way I have it. But Again, no idea how to connect it. Uh, I really want to get this lava thing flowing. Uh, I mean, I can still go and do the, you know, fill my uh, tanks by going and chasing down lava. And that's as such, but it's not as fun, is it? Try to automate as much as possible. So, another night and another hunt for the Enderman. There's a zombie, don't need a zombie. I cannot spot the Enderman. There might not be one here. Let's check out this little island here. where they usually spawn. That's a creeper. I need to engage him in combat. Whoa. Oh, there's not a creeper. There's a bunch of little monsters. Creeper. <laughs> Spider, mm, skeleton, creepers, no wait, not creepers, Enderman, come on Enderman. The jetpack is great. I built one of the other ones as well, the, the one that you feed fuel into uh, and try to figure out um, 
well not figure out as such but uh, then I went to check up on how to refill it because I figured that um, the thing that I have um, the creosote oil would work as a fuel and I think it would but I would have to build uh, something else hey leave those villagers alone or are you a villager? There we go. Um, and I read up about it and it basically said that, yeah, this one allows you to fly until you run out of fuel, which is about 20 seconds after you take off. So, busted. Not nothing worth making. But I made one. I guess I can put it on the wall or something like that. You know, a relic. I also had to figure out a use for the creosote oil. Um, I mean, there is a use, definitely. If you you go with uh, building any of those machines. Um, Let's see. There is something over there. It's a lava. Isn't this it over here? It would be nice to get more of those uh, blaze powder thingies. You see skeletons, creepers. Winter biome, snow biome, biome. Oops, I am using up a lot of fuel. Ah, I just. Ah, let's keep going. Ooh, red. Trees. Is this the autumn biome? Is it new types of trees? Some of you. Thank you. And a man. Give me an ender pearl. Spruce wood. No, I don't need that. I guess I will continue my hunt for Enderman, at least until I get one uh, with a pearl, and then home and build another chunk loader, and see about maybe, where is the desert biome that was in this direction? Um, and then see about, you know, maybe connecting, uh, I know I need like a liquid uh, or is it a aqueous something something to uh, pump oh I need a drill and a pump I know that to be able to work oh, it get home and build stuff and maybe manually load a bunch of those yeah let's do that um, yeah, I will make my way home, build a drill and a pump, or a pump that probably has a drill attached to it. Uh, and I'll do that off screen and see if I can find another enderman with an ender pearl. And um, moving on from there, I will see if I can do the connection between the two uh, realities, the nether and this, to have like a unlimited supply of lava, magma power. So this is Oberon Blade and I've been playing Minecraft. Uh, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.